Okay, uh, this is the fourth time it keeps getting disrupted and stuff. So anyway, we're in the process of this. So I'll start with this one since it's out here. This is a my version of um, a lace book that Strappy Happen XO Jeanette did. I happened to see one of her videos, her how-to video. And this, so this is what I came up with. This is a Jenny Belly. This is fabric here. And I glued it on. And of course, I'm I'm rather eclectic. Oh, I should have said hello. Hello. Um, um, this was the flower. Um, and this part was did on a, oh, excuse me, done on a new stream, uh, Artie Dar. She's, I believe, Artie Dar here on YouTube. She needed some company one night, and I, hope, I turned on my camera on Ustream, and we, you know, we did this, and we just had some fun. This is this little orange vase here is actually the top of this just taken off, and I turned it into a little vase, and here's some vintage flowers, and here's a straw stuck in for an accent. Here's some, my plastic paper. And, you know, yeah, I recycle, so. And this is, um, I'm not going to go into the conversation we had, but these are, I'm not going to call, say what we call them, but these are pom-poms. And that's John, uh, Scrappy Camp, her sisters. She's one of the sisters. Scrappy Camp, her sisters here on YouTube, I believe. And, um, yeah, and, yeah, this is, Shout out the door, a little fish, fish, fishy, and yeah, and here's Jess. She sent me some, and I, like I said, I mix and match, you know, vintage, whatever. This is geese ribbon, and on the inside, these are actual recycled, cleaned, recycled French fry containers. They're gently taken apart and arted on both sides. I made this one, and um. I'm not really remembering how I did this, but somehow or other, I did this to where it expands differently than this one. There's no, you know, it, this expands, but yeah, and somehow or other I did this, and it expands differently. And so this actually holds this, and instead of putting the uh, stick pins, if you want, like Jeanette did back here, you can always put them here. And yeah, so there. this is a paper phenomenon hidden hinge that I used here. And again, it's not necessarily completely done, but, you know, that was just, you know, something that, you, you know, you see something, you have to do it. Okay. And this one is, I believe she's Lily Laneka. Um, I'm not sure how to literally pronounce that, you know, because some say, you know, anyway. And I like her. I like to just click on some of her videos, and I just get busy. And she was doing a box. And this is, yeah, I was gifted some Giorgio Armani tissue paper. And, yeah. And this is a furniture protector, protecting the floor furniture coaster. And it has a spiral texture on the bottom. And you can turn that into a stamp. And I just stamped and colored the tissue paper and then it, I glued it on and yes I recycle so anyway this is that this is a um, these two boxes are part of the Lily's um, her how to's and while watching her um, box videos and this is a Long John Silver box it's clean you know everything's fine and here on the instead of the frail frail up here I'm going to frail frail this a little bit and it will glue here eventually after I get it yeah so there's that and this is for those who are regulars at my Ustream this is kind of a funny thing and this is where this comes into. But we're going to talk about what we jokingly call, in a fun way, garlic butts, for want of a better phrasing. And what garlic butts are, are 
the bottom, you'll have a garlic. This is what they look like. And you take your garlic cloves off of this. This is what how it comes, right? You can take your toothbrush or what you know, toothbrush, get it down, clean it all up, and then you can do that. This is like vintage photo, whatever. I'm gonna actually put some gold um, um, ink of gold on there. I'm gonna do some rubbing on that. Anyway, um, this is Mori silk onto just some paper or actually a tag. Um, Mother pearl buttons. This is actually our recycle, and this is the tops of actual used tea bags. They've been dried, and I've I stitched them on. See, I stitched, I, I couched them on in embroidery stitch and made it like basically a, a half flower. And this is baby wipes. And I folded this somehow and all of a sudden, see, it reminded me of a daffodil. So I blanket stitched this and there's some just ooh, yummy lace and um, Felicia, I believe. Or maybe it was Melissa. God's mixed media girl Melissa who sent me this. I think I come to think of it. Felicia was something else she gave me. Okay. Okay. And so yeah, so there's that. And I'm going to these are I'm recycling a couple drink. A couple drink containers. I'm gonna have this um darker shade of lavender. And then I'm going to glue this on, and it's going to become a wall hanging. And my mother was into purple, and this is just a remembrance piece for that. And that's just a way, you know, I showed you that to show you one way. Of, you can turn these garlic butts into flower centers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can get. Okay. And yeah. Uh, I like vintage -y and here's rust and this is where I keep puzzle pieces and here's some starter stuff that I started recycle cover them you know I haven't finished them yet yes and I'm practicing I'm practicing crocheting making all little quirky things with crochet and here's a I got this from um, Maggie White, something she was on her birthday surprising you from Trisha. Um, this is an idea I had. I got something triggered this idea, popped up, and I actually um, crocheted with the number 11 and string. This was gifted to me from Eileen Boca Babe. And I actually crocheted that on. And I'm going to put this on, I think, like that. Yeah. I'm not really proficient. I'm not an expert at crochet, but hey, you know, I could read. Of course, sometimes people who know me think I read things backwards, but anyway. So, anyway, there's that. And let's see, what else? Um, hmm. Um, yeah, oh, this is something. For those, when you, before you get rid of your computer cords, open them up, carefully open them up, and look at, recycle, recycle. Check to see what you can do with your computer parts, because look at all that wire. And colorful, and see, different different kinds. I think these came from earphones or something. The wire inside an ear, ear headphones. And, you know, it helps you. This is like the Daris 24 gauge. And, you know, yeah, recycle your, your, um, your, you know. Yeah, that's a little tip if you don't, you know. Yep. Okay. And, yeah. I like shabby chic, but I'm like I said, I'm a little bit weird with it. And for those of you who are not liking googly eyes, a warning. But see, I do some things funky. You know, overall, it's kind of shabby chic up here. And then I add little 
quirky things like googly eyes. Yeah, one's missing. Yeah. And, oh yeah, and um, a shout out to Ginny Belly. These are aluminum beads, you know, from her tutorial. I can tell you that I, these ones are aluminum beads. But these need patience. I'm just telling you, up front, they need patience. Just saying. Okay? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But Jenny Belly aluminum beads. Some of these were actually made with, um, there's a blue. That's actually a napkin in there. And different kind, different colors of, you know, candy, candy wrappers. The green ones. Anyway, yeah, these are different, um, different can colored candy wrappers mixed in with the aluminum. I thought I, there's, oh, this one here, maybe. This one. That one is a green napkin. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, this one is a phone gay one. I'm keeping it because of that. But, yeah. Yeah, that was an embellishment that I made. I crocheted around it. I actually punched holes in that thing. Uh-huh. But, yeah, it's kind of a funky color combination. But, hey, you know, what can I say? I like it. I... These were gifted to me. An unusual, pe an unusual stamp set. It has, oh, yeah, it's quite unusual. But, uh -huh. but that's a way to keep them. Yeah, so that's where I keep them. And, um, yeah, this is a funky. This is, a, what would Darcy Glam do? Put a feather on it, put a feather on it. Yeah, pop tops, pop tops. A funky, a funky, weird flower, but hey. What can I say? Yeah. This is where I store the last of my... Yummy. 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 I store the last of my thingies here. And I have some bright red ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So, um, we're at like 13... And a few seconds, and let's see, oh, uh -huh, oh, uh -huh. what can I show you? I'm kind of like, my eyeballs are splitting around. This was for stamps on this, so I put it in there, because I'm not done with this. What else can I show you? Um, oh, that's another thing, I won't show that. And, yeah, oh, just some odd thing. I like Tigger. I like Tigger. This is an odd tidbit. I like Tigger. So it's sitting there. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I altered. This is years ago. But you need to smile. Just saying. You need to smile. I'm being serious. You need to smile. But this is an Altered duck. Yeah. With ear muffs. Yeah, it used to be a yellow rubber ducky. But, oh, uh -huh, yeah, oh. Uh -huh. I altered it. Mm hmm. And, oh, this. See this? Uh huh. See that? See that? Whoops. Ha uh ha. -huh. Empty. Recycle your glue sticks and put lace around them. See that? 
I put paper, I glued some paper on there, did some funny. This is a prima little thing that someone sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where's the other one? Where's the other ones? Oh, uh -huh. come on, come on, real quick. Where, where are they? Where are they? Come on. Where are they? One moment, please. I know I'm probably ruining all the etiquette in the world, but, you know. Okay, what can I say? Okay. Ooh, yeah, and, my, and yes, my chair squeaks. You see, here's another one. Yeah. This is actually fingernail polish. This color here, that's fingernail polish. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, so you recycle your glue, your glue, your glue thingies. This, in case you didn't see it. Aha, one of these, yeah. Yeah, recycle them and turn them into little, you know. Yeah. That's a tuna can waiting to be, you know, but who knows. Yeah. Um, oh, and I haven't tried it yet, but I got this idea today, this morning. I was, I got some little happy gifty things today. My husband brought them home from church. Anyway, in there, and all of a sudden, I was, had this, like I said, I haven't tried it, but it's, um, a pipe cleaner, and you could loosely wrap around some yarn or whatever, crochet the dickens out of that pipe cleaner and then once you're done crocheting however many links you twist it and make it like a rose because you've got um you've got your the crochet part that you crocheted on that becomes your petals and yet you've got your the pipe cleaner and you can twist it in to like a rose and because you've crocheted yeah, yeah, like I said, I haven't tried it, but hello. Oh, the, another thing, real quick, um, we're a little over the 15 minutes, but another thing that's really cool is you know you're on your your lids. Now, I call them kaboni rings. They're the things that people use for crochet, you know, for, you know, a, um, you know, a, a nice structured center. You can use the little cap rings off of your milk jugs, your bot water bottles. The little you, once you pry them off, you can use those and crochet. I have a few things around here. You have a few. I have a few here. Hold on. And one of these, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see, in the center, but yeah, you can use, you can use that as a recycling, yeah, let's see, I think it was a green one, oh, that's been sewn on, oh, anyway, yeah, so, I better, I better go, it's coming up on, well, it's, okay, okay, so, here we go. I can show you that later. But oh no way. You can without showing you. But you can um yeah, use a little yeah, as recycled kaboni rings for crocheting or you know. Okay, so it's eighteen minutes and like so thanks guys for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh,